Morning guys, Will at Coaster Dad. Um, here's what the deal is. Every Saturday morning, I take Lyle off to his parkour class, which is a which is a sort of a gymnastics parkour. Google it; it's 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 really cool. Parkour is fun, and Lyle loves to do it, and so do his friends in the neighborhood. So, on the way to parkour, Lyle and I talk about all sorts of stuff. We talk about how the week went. We talk about what we want to do next week. We we joke around. We have a really really nice time, and I I treasure these these times that I spend in the car with Lyle. Um, so what I did was I just taped one, and this is I'm kind of doing the intro after the the event, I just taped one because a whole bunch of what we talk about in the car has to do with what we're gonna do next week, what's coming up on the uh, what's coming up on the on the videos on the YouTube channel, what kind of stuff Lyle wants to do next. Uh, because he really is the, the driving force behind uh, most of what happens here um, and, and it's, a, it's a really fun experience for me. So I'm going to share one with you. If you like it, you know, comment, thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, do all of those things that let me know that you enjoy it and then we could make it a weekly, uh, we could make it a weekly thing if you, think it's, if you think it's cool. So anyway, here is Dad and Lyle in the car. Wait, Thick Sporting Goods is a sporting goods store, right? Yeah. No, I got it at uh, Friedman's Appliance in Concord. <laughs> hear my question. Thick Sporting Goods is a sporting goods store, right? <laughs> 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 you're, a, you're an incredibly smart kid. <laughs> I wasn't He's, think That Lyle is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thick Sporting Goods is a sporting goods <laughs> store. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very quick on the uptake. <laughs> okay, so you'll work on the you'll work on the domino, the ending part. I'll I'll like climb around the track all day and set up the thing. So Lisa gets I need to see how far you can get while I'm at parkour. That well that part that you saw yesterday? Now are you staying for both? No, just an hour. <clears throat> So that thing that you saw yesterday, because if you're staying for just an hour, I got to pick up some more solder for the weld. I, I used an entire spool of solder in the welding machine. Uh, but anyway, so I got to run some errands and then I'll come back and get you if you're just staying for the hour. So that's good. But the part from the from the from the top of the first hill to the top of the second hill, mm -hmm. that putting that together, including kind of figuring out how to do it and so on and so forth, that whole event took me less than an hour, I'd say like a half an hour. So what I think is, now that I kind of know how to do it, I have enough sticks, I've got a very clear idea of how to how to piece the thing together, and I also have a deadline, uh, I've got to get it done. Um, then you can probably finish it in less than an hour. I think I could probably finish it in two hours. That's my, that's my goal. Is, well, uh, I'm going to be coming back at 10 o'clock, right? Yeah. So 10 o'clock, you come back, and we gotta we gotta do a little bit of cleaning up, gotta like scrape up the top layer of goo off your room and get the living room tidied up a little bit. And just kind of get it. I have to clean we we'll get a little bit of that done. And then so we'll get home at 1030. We'll tidy up for a little bit. And so like 1130 or 12, I think at noon time, I think we have to start. We have to start working on it. The, what are you learning at parkour today? I have no clue, but I am going to practice my back flip. <clears throat> it would be awesome to go to Atlanta. Would that be fun? I hope the other guy's there. There's what a, Rowan and then this other guy that does flips every time. A kid? Um, one of the, one of the instructors does flips. One of the instructors. You don't remember his name? No. Is it Patrick? No. Rowan is so cool. She's just like a she's a rock star. She's like one of my heroes. Just super strong. Really. Um. If 
we went to if we went to Atlanta, what would be the what would be the park? What would be the order of the rides? We would definitely start on Goliath because that gets the longest lines. What parkings? And also, we pro would probably get fast passes because there's because people from New because that's the closest amusement park to which, New Orleans. Which park is it? Six Flags Over Georgia. It's the closest amusement park to New Orleans. So the people from New Orleans come there all the time because that's the closest they can get to, even though it's a seven hour drive. Okay. So we would have to get fast passes. That's the third most popular Six Flags park. Really? Yeah. Behind Great Adventure and Magic Mountain? No, behind Great Adventure and Great America. Great America's in Chicago. Oh my gosh. Okay. We missed out on it. I was trying to tell you. Why don't we go there? I was trying to tell you that, but... I know, and I just wanted to waste a bunch of time at the Museum of Science and Industry, one of, like, one of the best science museums in the world. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, so Goliath. So we'll start with Goliath, mm -hmm. and then... Go and also, we can go back anytime. They have a new Rocky Mountain construction wooden this year. It's called Goliath. No surprise. This one goes upside down. Not a vertical loop, but it goes upside down. Uh, to like a heartline roll or a what? Um, one is a dive loop, you know, a Medusa where it does that twist and then it does a half loop. That's on it, and then there's a zero G stall, the first ever. So you go up, you do a half zero G, and then you stay upside down all the way across. So you're upside down for like five seconds. So Goliath, then what? Mm -hmm. And also it has an 85 degree drop. It's a uh, 72 miles per hour. This is all Goliath? Yeah. What number is it on the uh, on the table? Um, I think it's number, it's on the table, I know that. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the non-metals because it's made of wood. And, and also it's gonna be the smoothest wind coaster in the world. Oh. Do you know why? No. Because they're putting a, because they're putting a layer of Kind of like a stronger version of aluminum foil on the track. Really? Yeah, like a stronger. It's it's like iron foil. Uh, you would say. Like a like a really thin strip of iron. Yeah, like a really thin strip of iron, and that on is the it track. Is, yeah. So that's what it rolls on. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> okay, buddy, buddy. Well, have a good time at parkour. Work on that backflip.